Well, hello. Happy Friday. So, we got a special treat dropped on us yesterday, and I never thought that I would be in this position, that's for sure, uh, to say that I'm going to be reacting to Linkin Park. That being said, I've done a couple, or I think it was one, maybe two. I don't know if I reacted to the last one, but uh, they had a, a couple tracks released in, I think it was 2023, and one early 2024. Um, I think... If I remember correctly, Lost was the one that I reacted to, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, they did Lost. They did, like, Friendly Fire or something like that. But, anyways, it got dropped yesterday. I, I was actually playing video games, and all of a sudden, like, my phone popped up on... And uh, 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 YouTube popped up, and it said, uh, Linkin Park Live. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'll, cl I'll click on this. And just like everybody else, I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Blah, 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 right? So I guess it was some kind of... I didn't even end up watching it. I couldn't. It took forever. I was like, fuck this. And I was playing a game where I like couldn't pause it. So I was like, fuck it. So anyways, it was like half an hour, hour gone by. And then I checked my phone again. And sure as shit, there's an actual single released. Now, that single being released is called The Emptiness Machine. I have some thoughts, but we're going to react to it. Okay. Um, I haven't, I didn't listen to it. Okay. I, I saw it pop up and I actually hit play. And it was maybe 11 seconds in and I was like, shit. And I paused it and I was like, I'm going to react to this tomorrow. But I mean, if you do know, then, you know, obviously there's a new singer that is uh, filling in, not filling in, is basically they got some big shoes to fill right now. Everybody knows it's not Chester and it will never be Chester, you know, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to get to the reaction and we're going to go from there. Sharpen with precision. Boom. Boom. And it was already paused. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Flashing your favorite point of view. I know you're waiting in the Dude, that, that guy looks like Lil Dicky. <laughs> Lil Dicky, the haircut and stuff. I know you waiting in the distance. Just like you always do, just like you always do, already pulling me. Okay. okay, is Shinoda a painter? Is he an artist? Like, is it actually, like, legit, or is this just something for the video? I don't know. Already pulling me in, already under my skin, and I know exactly how this ends. I let you cut me off. Watch me bleed. Gave Damn. up who I am for who you wanted me to be. Don't know why I'm hoping for what I won't receive. Falling for the promise of the emptiness machine. The emptiness machine. I'm not going to comment and compare the two. All I'm going to say is that she's really good. She's really, 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 really good. I don't know. I think her name's Emily or something. I, I don't know even where she's from, like, like what band she's been a singer in. I have no idea where she's from. But we got to trust them, right? We got to trust the process here.
Well, well. Okay. So, my opinion. Okay, where is she here? Um, all right. Not, not the best. <laughs> but all right. Okay, so. This is my thoughts, okay? First of all, I'll get this out of the way. When she got the call from Shinoda or whoever, she was probably like, holy shit, right? Obviously they audition, people audition for either movies or singers or whatever kind of part they're going for. And so she knew that there was a risk that, not a risk, but you get what I'm saying. There was a chance that they would call her, right? When she got the call, she was probably like, holy shit. Right. Um, and what I mean by that is you can tell she's her own singer. Again, I don't know where she came from. I don't know what band. So that being said, she's not trying to sound like Chester. There was, a, I think his name's Adam something. He's the singer of uh, Saliva, I think it is, was or is. I've watched him on socials, YouTube that and, and shit like that, doing the shorts. And man, he comes close to Chester. So, like, my thing is, I think there's a lot of people that are mad. Um, shout out to Rockfeed, by the way. So, his channel's awesome. His Instagram's awesome. So, I looked on there yesterday when I was whipping through Instagram, and I guess I read one of his articles, something about there's some hate going on, and I guess people are, are mad because, not because she's a female singer, it's because I personally think people are expecting somebody to come in and and be close to Chester and sound like Chester Bennington and it I mean you don't want that right so in my opinion you want somebody to be unique and sound like them just like Chester's unique you know what I mean you, you can't really you can't do that so again now my thoughts okay just like on the Pantera reunion and shit like that right is it Pantera yes and no right but you know, there's going to be people out there that are a strong no and a strong yes. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool and stuff considering who Zach Wilde was, you know, compared to them. Anyway, I'm not going to get too far into it. So my opinion on, on that is no, it's not really Pantera. I think that they should call it something else. Now, Linkin Park, on the other hand, you have what all members except two. I think they have a new drummer and clearly they have a new singer. Good. They have renamed the band. I, maybe I think so, you know? Um, just let it go. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a dis disrespectful way. I'm just trying to say, like, they went out in a very unfortunate way. But what I'm saying is, is there was a high note, right? They were at, they were at a huge peak for their first, second, third albums, whatever. And then for me, after that, Linkin Park just kind of, I think they went a little softer. Um, so I just kind of stopped listening to them. But they had their moment and, and it's, and it's really shitty with the circumstances you know what i mean like lincoln park was really big for me uh they influenced a lot of people in a lot of positive ways and yeah the lyrics were were a little dark sometimes but you know what that's the way life was sometimes back then when when this kind of music was a thing you know the new metal scene and stuff like that um it hit teenagers and, and young adults and stuff hard right so a lot of people could relate to bands like lincoln park um so again, it's no disrespect to, to anyone, no disrespect to Linkin Park at all. Um, I'm here for it. I'm here for what they release. Uh, you know, I can appreciate it regardless. It's, it's good music. Now, as far as this song goes, I thought it was great. And I think what I was expecting too was it to be a little bit heavier, I think. Because when I thought of Linkin Park getting back together or whatever, like, you know, releasing new music, I, for some reason, went to the old Meteor days and stuff. That's what was popping up in my head. So I think I expected something a little heavier and not on the, like, the punkier kind of, punky rock kind of side. But you know what? I really liked it. And I think it's going to be one of those songs, the more I listen to it, it's going to grow on me. <clears throat> and I thought she did a fantastic job. Now, again, I'm all here for it. And it, it's not Chester. It never will be. And, you know, that, that shit sailed. Even just like some people are like pissy about Metallica. You know what I mean? They, they're they new. They, it's not mandatory Metallica anymore. That boat sailed, man. You know, it, it's gone. People change. People change their styles. People, people change everything. And people mature and stuff like that too, right? And some bands like change for the worst, you know? Uh, but, you know, fans miss Linkin Park. The, the world needs Linkin Park. They need that sound, you know? Um, there was not a lot of bands that could pull that off, you know? And there was a couple imitation bands that, you know, were similar and stuff like that, but nobody touched Linkin Park. In my opinion, I understand that a lot of people might want to like, tell me I'm an idiot for this, but when I think Linkin Park, 
the face of Lincoln Park. For a lot of people, it's probably they think Chester, and it's not because he's passed. Not just, but it's his voice. It made like such an impact. You know what I mean? And you just can't get it out of your head. And yes, obviously Shinoda and all those boys, you know what I mean? Yes, it's 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 their Lincoln Park, right? But anyways, as far as the video goes, <clears throat> the video was great. I love their visuals, man. They always had really good videos right from the beginning. And I think it's awesome. I love their style. I always have. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, it was just, it was big for me. It was big. Lincoln Park hit hard, you know, when they were at their peak for sure. So, you know, hats off to them, in my opinion. And you know what? Hats off to this lady too. I, I don't know where she's from. So in the comments, can you drop it? Uh, 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 drop a comment and tell me if you guys know where she's from, what band, you know, um, everything like that. And uh, yeah, go from there. And I definitely look forward to hearing some more tunes from these guys. I don't know if they, uh, they released any more. I jumped on Spotify quick, and it seems like The Emptiness Machine is the only... So far, it's the only single that has been released from this. So I, I don't know, man. Maybe some more shit's going to get leaked on YouTube. I have no idea. So anyways, I'm here for it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.